Hello, this is Dustin with ProAVSchool.com. Today I'm going to show you how I use a 3D modeling program called Google SketchUp to do 3D designs of AV systems. Now it's available for free from Google. If you go to sketchup.google.com, you can download it there. And it's available for PC. I believe it is available for Mac as well. So let's go ahead. I'm just going to show you the basic on how to get started. So once you start it up here, you can see three planes. You've got the green plane, the blue plane, and the red plane. You can use the scroll button on your mouse to zoom in and out and without any content on the screen it's a little confusing on what you're actually looking at. You can also use the orbit tool which is this little guy here. You can also orbit by pressing down on the scroll button and moving around. If you use shift on your keyboard and move around in the same manner you can kind of slide your whole axis around. First thing we're going to do is create the walls for our little room. So I'm going to use the pen tool. To start at this point, I'm going to go 20 feet. So what, I, what I'm doing here, you see it'll snap to the green axis, or the red axis, or the blue axis. It'll snap to the green axis at 20 feet. And I'm going to do a line here. Let's just do it 20 feet as well. We'll make this a square room. Go 20 feet here. Connect that there. Now you'll see orbiting around that you can actually move and shift around and everything. So that's all good. So now I'm going to use a tool called the offset tool. Let's click on any one of the edges there and drag it in. I'm just going to type a number of 3.5 inches. It's kind of your typical wall. Okay, I'm going to go in here and delete this empty space. Now the most powerful tool is the push-pull tool. And that'll let you turn 2D objects into 3D objects. So I'm going to click on this, drag my walls up. Since it's a normal room, room I'm going to go 8 feet and hit enter. So I've got the basic of the room. Now I'm going to give it a door. Push that through. You see that clears right up. Okay, so now that we've got our door and we've got our walls, our room is actually somewhat to scale. Well, it's completely to scale. What I could do here is take this measuring tape and go, hey, what's the distance between here and here? And you'll see down in the length it's 20 feet, so that's perfect. We'll be able to use that to uh, judge approximate placements and sizes of equipment when we put it in. So let's put a TV on the wall. And I'm going to show you how you get that easily. Go to File, 3D Warehouse, Get Models. Now these models are contributed by the community. And as far as I know, they're free to use in your own drawings as long as you're not selling them. So let's type in... CD television. Let's see what we can come up with. Okay, so I'm going to pick this one because it looks pretty interesting. So I'll just click on it, it'll give me some more information about it. And that's going to work for what I need. So I'm going to download the model. And yes, I'm going to load it right into the model. Of course, you do need internet connectivity for this, but you'll be doing these drawings in the office, so that shouldn't be a problem. Okay, so now it'll let me put it wherever I want. Usually what I do is just place it somewhere, and then I can I click, and then I can move in and figure out what I need to do with the model. So, first thing I'm going to do is get rid of some of the uh, stuff that I don't want. Since I'm going to be mounting down the wall, I don't really need a stand. I'm also going to show you how to do scale so that we can make sure it's the size of what we want. So you see it's got the blue outline. I'm going to double click on it and I can get in and start editing stuff. I'm going to try to zoom in on that. You can see that it highlighted the stand. Every model will be different. When I delete that, it'll probably delete more than I want it to. But in that case, it worked out okay. One thing that's neat about these models is Depending on who makes them, they're quite detailed. 
can see the connectors on the back. Another thing I should note is sometimes you get yourself in the middle of a wall and you get really confused on where you are. One of the best things to do is just use your scroll button to zoom out and kind of position yourself in a way that kind of gets your bearings. Okay, so that we've got that stand removed. I'm going to double click outside of that model. Now I'm going to try to place it on the wall. So what I'm going to do is position myself around and it takes some practice to get used to this. And I'm going to push it around and uh, select it there. I'm going to pick a point sort of at the back of the unit. It's going to be kind of hard to determine. So let's try that. And I want to get that right against the wall. Seems to be kind of snapping there. So that's kind of where we want it. See, it's pretty much right up against the wall. Now, if we want to go a certain height, what we could do is go up 42 inches there. It's kind of my construction line. You'll see it kind of disappear. Certain objects will disappear at certain angles. It kind of makes that determination on based on what's easiest. So I'm going to put that right up there. And I pushed it into the wall. So what I'm going to have to do is it's going to undo that. I want to give you a pretty good representation on some of the pains that you can find when working with this stuff. So basically, I'm going to take that point to match it up with that point. And that's what we wanted. So now I'm going to delete that line. I can take my measuring tape roughly from the bottom down. It's really close to what we wanted. So another thing I'm going to do, just as a demonstration here, is let's add a HD camera. Let's go Eagle Eye. I know there's a model for Polycom Eagle Eye. So I'm going to put this in here. Once again, and insert it into the wall. So, for general representations, you can just kind of start positioning stuff. Now, what is another thing I like to do is get a table in there just to kind of show representation of that. So, let's go. 3D warehouse, get model, let's go boardroom table. Let's go with this one, it comes with chairs. And as you can see, 3D models can be a really good resource. They can help you to create a drawing really quickly. You have to recognize that some of the drawings aren't to scale, some of the models. But overall, they are pretty close. And they can give you a good representation. You can always scale them as well as you get more advanced. So that TV ended up a little smaller than I wanted. I'm going to go in and delete this chair because it's right in the way of the camera. And there you go. It's a very basic system. But it kind of shows you the power of Google SketchUp, and you can experiment from there. We'll be posting some more tips in the future on how to use this system. And if there's 3D models that you want created, contact me from the site, Dustin at ProVAVSchool.com, and I'll get you hooked up with somebody who can create really good models, and they cost about $150 to get them made up. And that's all I've got for now. So check out the blog, ProAVSchool.com, and be sure to join the mailing list. We're putting 
excellent tips on EV system design and troubleshooting and uh, also selling tips. So I invite you to join that mailing list. Thank you for your time. This is Dustin with ProAVSchool.com.